What happens to a car when it's past its prime? Sometimes we might trade it in for a new model, and other times we might sell it for parts. Or in these highly unusual cases, spectacular sports cars are left to rot and rust, completely secluded from the rest of society. Yep, whether their owners had to flee the country or simply passed away without sharing the location of their luxury automobiles, abandoned cars exist all over the globe, waiting patiently to be discovered in dreadful conditions. From a Bugatti at the bottom of a lake to a Ferrari buried in a backyard, these are the 15 most incredible abandoned cars in the world. It's a freaking Enzo, man. What? Are you kidding me? Lotus Esprit, inspiration for Cybertruck. When an American couple paid $100 for an unopened storage unit in a blind auction, they didn't realize that they had just unknowingly purchased a valuable piece of movie history. Inside the abandoned unit, there was an old, dusty car, which they didn't think would be worth much after all. However, they soon discovered that it was a 1976 Lotus Esprit sports car that rose to fame in the James Bond film, The Spy Who Loved Me. It was sold at Sotheby's auction house in 2013 to an anonymous buyer who later revealed himself to be none other than billionaire CEO Elon Musk. That's right, Musk actually planned to install Tesla technology to the vehicle so that it could actually transform from sports car to submarine in real life. He even stated that this abandoned storage unit car would end up being the inspiration for his much anticipated cyber truck. Now let's get ready for today's missing topic. And now it's time for our missing topic. Wow, this bright orange Range Rover has seen better days. Lost in the jungle and tangled with vines, this Jeep looks like it's been preserved in time by Mother Nature herself. Weirdly, this car model couldn't be more than a couple of decades old, making the invasion of plant life even more astonishing. When they said that Range Rovers could handle all terrains, we don't think they meant this. So what do you guys think of this mysterious image? Could Photoshop be behind this baffling photography, or is this really a lost relic, just waiting to be cut free from the vines and to be restored to its former glory? Join in on the conversation by using the hashtag missing topic in the comments below. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? Vintage Bentley in a barn. While most of us are more used to finding farmland animals or bales of hay in a barn, this abandoned outhouse contained a much more glamorous secret automobile enthusiasts across the world let out a collective gasp when it was revealed that this luxury Bentley motor had been gathering dust in an old barn house in Surrey, United Kingdom. Hidden in the dust and the dirt since 1985, it was in surprisingly good condition. With the chassis, axle, steering box numbers, engine and gearbox all in order. In fact, experts reckon that this stunning Bentley could get back on the road in no time, with very minimal restoration needed. While the owner believed it would only be worth around $46,000, when he first stumbled upon the abandoned car, valuers actually estimated that this fancy vehicle was worth 10 times as much at $460,000. That's right, this is no ordinary car. The 1929 4.5 model was one of just 665 built and was used in early endurance races like the original Le Mans races. Yup, this awesome automobile is considered to be the holy grail of collectible cars. We can't believe it was just sitting in a barn all this time. <laughs> Bassness Car Graveyard this mysterious car cemetery is tucked away deep in the woods that lie on the border between Sweden and Norway. Owned by a pair of reclusive brothers, who also live in the graveyard, there are said to be at least 1,000 abandoned cars covered in moss and undergrowth in the Bosnes Car Cemetery. Rumor has it that these dilapidated Volkswagens, Fiats, Fords, Volvos, and Saabs all once belonged to the U.S. Armed Forces who left their cars behind when World War II ended. Some of these rusting vehicles have even succumbed to nature, with trees laying down roots and sprouting up through roofs of many cars. While tourists are welcome to visit the remote location and take all the photographs they like, visitors are warned not to take anything that doesn't belong to them. No souvenirs here! 
A formidable sign hanging in the woods warns that after a string of burglaries, many traps have been set throughout the cemetery, some of them extremely dangerous. In the words of this sinister signpost, remember in this place, no one can hear you scream. Experts in the scrap metal business claim that this giant car collection is worth over $150,000 without even including parts. So we can see why the cemetery owners had to beef up their security. Even though it's so remote, you can find the Bosnis Car Cemetery just by typing in its name on Google Maps. Well, perhaps it's not so mysterious after all. <laughs> 137 Bugatti Type 57S Adelante When Dr. Harold Carr parked his prized Bugatti in his garage in the early 1960s, it was never run again, until his children found it in 2007 after their father sadly passed away. Yup, this epic vehicle was one of the most iconic models of its kind and was only made in an extremely limited run of 17 cars. It's even said that this particular car was one of the most important motor cars ever made. Wow, the Adelante is a really big deal, which only makes it even more shocking that it was gathering dust in a garage for over 50 years. With custom bumpers, rear view mirrors on the A pillars, and a luggage rack, this vehicle went on to steal the show when it was sold at an auction in Paris for $4.4 million. Not bad for a car that had been forgotten for a half century. We wonder how many other cars there are in the world that got parked in a garage never to be seen again. <laughs> the Onassis Miura Back in the 1960s, Greek superstar singer and racing car driver Stamatis Kokodas was such a hit sensation that adorning fans would show their love by sending him expensive gifts. And one of these gifts really stood out from the others. Yet when multi-millionaire Aristotle Onassis gave Stamatis his very own 1969 Miura Lamborghini, the singer couldn't believe his luck. Other A-list celebrity owners of this spectacular sports car included crooners like Frank Sinatra and Rod Stewart, and as you can imagine, Kokodas wasted no time in getting behind the bespoke engraved wheels of this amazing automobile. In fact, by 1972, he had racked up a whopping 50,000 miles on the clock, and the car broke down. This metallic brown beauty with tan leather seats definitely needed a specialist care and shipped off for repairs. However, for some reason, this one cherished motor car ended up sitting in the parking lot of the Hilton Hotel in Athens for over 40 years, until the hotel was forced to move it for building renovations. The famous car was sent to auction, but it failed to even meet its reserve price. Since then, this unbelievable vehicle has disappeared from the public eye once more, and no one has any idea where it's gone or who it now belongs to. Could it be that this stunning sports car has been abandoned once more? <laughs> the Bayon Collection Roger Bayon was the owner of a prestigious transport company in France and loved to blow his hard-earned cash on all kinds of important and glamorous cars. Yup, for 20 years, he built up an impressive collection of ridiculously extravagant cars. However, when his transport company suffered financial hardship in the 1970s, he sold nearly half of his precious automobiles. Parting with 50 cars, he kept 60 vehicles, stashing them in a barn on a French farm, away from prying eyes. For 40 long years, these incredible cars were left to rot and rust without any proper care, until they were discovered in 2014. The managing director of an automobile auction house described stepping foot in the barn as opening King Tutankhamun's tomb. $18 million worth of jaw-dropping luxury cars included a Ferrari 250 GT California Spider that was once driven by movie stars hidden under a pile of tattered old newspapers. There was even a rare Maserati ASG, one of only three in the entire world as well as a Talbot Lago T26 convertible that once belonged to a king of Egypt, amongst other mind-blowing automobiles. This crazy collection was truly one of a kind. You never know what could be hiding in a barn. Ferrari F40 The world's most elusive abandoned Ferrari was finally found thanks to the impressive detective work of a curious YouTuber and the help of some passionate automobile aficionados along the way. That's right, the Ferrari F40 was lost but never forgotten. This car was shrouded in a dark history and was once ordered to be burnt along the countless other cars, but somehow it managed to escape the inferno. 
So why was this superb sports car destined for cremation? Well, its original owner was the infamous son of former Iraqi dictator Saddam Hussein. After the United States troops arrived in the country, the Ferrari F40 was never to be seen again. Until now, it was traced to the city of Erbil in Iraq, where it was coated in a thick layer of dust and sand, unable to even start. Many have tried to get their hands on the vehicle since then, but it's never quite worked out. Some say the asking price was close to a million dollars, while others said that getting the paperwork approved was nearly impossible. We wonder what will happen to this incredible abandoned car. <laughs> Sultan of Brunei's Riding Car Collection If you're a car lover, then there's a chance that you've coveted the super wealthy Sultan of Brunei's legendary car collection. This royal collector is the owner of hundreds of Mercedes Benzes, Ferraris, Rolls Royces, Jaguars, and Porsches. In fact, he's got so many that it's rumored that the sheer amount of cars has become overwhelming. Yep, according to exotic car broker Michael Sheehan, he was offered a package of 13 Ferraris and McLaren F1s by an importer in Brunei and was even given a grand tour of the compound where his collection was kept. Except the tour was not so grand after all. That's because many of these glamorous luxury cars were being stored in buildings with no air conditioning and cooking in the scorching tropical heat. In fact, according to Sheehan's story, one Rolls Royce was so fried by the sun that the steering wheel had melted into the driver's seat. Yeah, it seems as though this incredible car collection was rotting away, breaking the hearts of car lovers everywhere. Sheehan was even quoted saying the collection was now a vast automotive tomb. Yikes. <laughs> the Bugatti at the bottom of a lake This ridiculously smart sports car belongs on the racetrack, not at the bottom of a lake, but that's exactly where this classic motor vehicle had been sitting for over 70 years. Yep, this 1925 Bugatti was found at the bottom of Lake Maggiore on the border of Switzerland and Italy, and experts believe that it had been there since 1935. But what was it doing there? Well, as the story goes, Grand Prix driver Rene Dreyfus lost the awesome automobile in a poker game to a Swiss socialite Adelbert Bode. When Bode tried to drive it into Switzerland, officials slapped a hefty import tax on the car, and so he surrendered the Bugatti to the Swiss authorities, who apparently decided to roll the car into a nearby lake. What a waste. However, spending a lifetime in a watery grave only seems to have improved the price of this valuable vintage car, and it was sold at auction for a whopping $370,000. Wow, it's going to take some work to get this waterlogged Bugatti on the road again. <laughs> Gerard Gombert's Car Collection Iconic car collector Gerard Gombert really left his mark on the world of automobiles. Affectionately nicknamed La Gombe by his friends, this former rally driver was the owner of an epic French scrapyard that contained over 50 classic cars, five dogs, and even a donkey. Yep, he was a real character, but over the years he built up an astonishing car collection that turned out to be worth nearly 2 million euros. After his passing, a French auction house sold his prized pieces, including a jaw-dropping Alpine M65 that raced in the famous Le Mans between 1967 and 1969. We don't know what happened to the dogs or the donkey, but we're sure that car lovers all over the globe showed up for this amazing auction. Hmm. Ferrari Buried in Garden What is a glamorous Ferrari Dino doing buried under the ground? Well, investigators are still trying to figure out this motor car mystery today. It was first found back in 1978 in a suburban backyard in California, starting an investigation that would intrigue journalists and car lovers all over the country. The beautiful Ferrari was registered to a man in Los Angeles before he reported it stolen in 1974. The next time it was ever seen was when it was being slowly pulled out of the ground much to the shock of the house's new tenants who had only been living on the property for three months. When this dashing Dino was brand new, it was worth over $67,000 on today's market, so we just can't wrap our heads around the fact that someone would bury it in the dirt for some unknown reason. Yeah, we may never know how this extravagant sports car ended up in an early grave, but it seems as though it's now living its best life in the hands of a young mechanic who purchased the worm-infested vehicle for a cool $5,000. Hey, at least it's in good hands. 
Mercedes-Benz 300 SL in a Cuban garden. This amazing gullwing car was discovered rusting away beneath a banana tree in Cuba back in 1996, and its new owner, Alberto, dedicated two decades restoring it to its former racing glory. That's right, this abandoned Mercedes-Benz 300 SL actually raced in the second ever Cuban Grand Prix way back in the 1950s and would have zoomed around the track with a set of blue stripes and the number six proudly emblazoned on its flanks. However, after many years of rust and ruin, it was virtually unrecognizable from its trophy-winning days. It's so sad to see a masterpiece like this just fading away over time. It just goes to show how transformative the process of restoration can really be. <laughs> Dodge Charger Daytona Abandoned in a barn in rural Glenwood, Alabama, this awesome Dodge Charger Daytona may be filthy, but it's still got life in it yet. The 1969 car was one of 503 produced and comes complete with a 440 CL engine, automatic transmission, and the best part of all, custom flames painted on the nose cone. Talk about grease lightning. This Dodge Charger was originally owned by a local judge who had bought it as a gift for his wife, so we don't know what happened that resulted in this gorgeous car being abandoned in a barn. Despite its dusty facade, this outstanding automobile sold for $150,000 at an auction in Kissimmee, Florida, and experts reckon that an astounding restoration could actually increase the value to over $325,000. What a hot set of wheels. <laughs> Abandoned Welsh Mine Full of Cars 200 feet down an abandoned slate quarry of Ceredigion, Wales, there's an old junk graveyard rarely seen by the public eye. After the slate mine shut in the 1960s, people started using the mine shaft as their very own personal trash chute dumping everything from washing machines to old cars, and over the decades a garbage mountain has been building up in the quarry. Photographer Gareth Owen who has done a number of underground explorations, captured the rare sights on camera, revealing a lost treasure chest of abandoned cars, including a classic Ford Cortina perched on top of this subterranean trash heap. What a strange sight. We're not sure why its owner decided to roll it down a mine instead of selling it for scrap, and let's face it, we'll probably never find out either. Huh? Oh. Ferrari Daytona found in Japan Once the fastest car in the world, this incredible Ferrari Daytona was found gathering dust in a Japanese barn, having been shipped from Italy way back in 1971. With just 22,000 miles on the odometer, it's thought that this decaying sports car had several owners and was even featured in the 1972 issue of a Japanese motoring magazine before being abandoned in a cold, dark barn forever. But this is no ordinary car. Classic car experts claim that this particular model was the only alloy-bodied, non-racing 365 GTB4 ever built and could reach a breathtaking 174 miles per hour on the road. How could someone just leave a magnificent car like this to ride away in a barn? We'll never know. This car is so unique that it take more than a layer of dust to put off a potential buyer. The Ferrari Daytona sold for over $2 million at auction, despite being in barn condition and requiring some much-needed TLC. So which one of these incredible abandoned cars was your favorite? You can let us know in the comment section below. And don't forget to give us a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. You can also hit subscribe for more awesome Missing Files content. Thanks for watching and see you next time.